Check out this guy. He looks like he's ready to lift a building. Or maybe he's auditioning for a superhero movie, but forgot his shirt. Whoa, whoa. Wait, how did you do that? He's moving, he's moving. Oh no, he's gonna burst right out of the screen. Okay, you two. You might be cracking jokes now, but you're about to see how we can use tools like Runway Gen 3 to turn simple images like this one into actual cinematic magic. Trust me, this is gonna blow your minds. Wait, this guy? We're gonna use him for the tutorial? Exactly. We're using Runway Gen 3 to transform images and create video magic. You might not see it yet, but by the end of this, you'll understand just how powerful this tool is. Let's jump right in. All right, let's see what Captain Muscles is really made of. Welcome back, people, to episode 8. Today, we're diving into something super exciting. We'll be creating cinematic AI videos using Runway Gen 3. It's an incredible tool that's perfect for making your videos look like they belong in the movies. We've got some seriously cool video magic to dive into. And trust me, it's going to be way more impressive than just flexing. So, let's get started. Step 1. Start with Runway Gen 3. First, head to runwayml.com and click Try Runway. Once you're in, hop over to Gen 3. You'll see a big box where you can upload an image. Even I can't miss that button. It's huge. Yeah, it's as big as this guy's biceps. For this tutorial, we're using our muscle man here. So, drag and drop the image right into the box. Step 2. Describe the camera movement and action. Now it's time to, for us to describe our shot. Runway has a specific way they recommend prompting, and I'm going to walk you through it step by step. First, you'll want to describe the camera movement. Is it a drone, handheld, or tracking shot? You're basically defining the style of the cinematography. For this example, we'll say, a crash zoom into a close-up portrait followed by a colon. Then, describe the action. Something like, a man running across a field, shot on 35mm film. Make it feel cinematic. Whoa, a crash zoom? That's gonna make it look intense, like it's right out of an action movie. 35mm film adds that vintage vibe to super cinematic. Step 3. Adjust settings and generate. Next, set your clip duration. Now if you go down here, you can see you can change the duration of your clip. There's 5 seconds and 10 seconds. Most film shots are usually 5 seconds or less, so it's rare you'd need more than that. But if you're doing something like a dialogue scene, you might want to go for 10 seconds to capture more interaction between characters. For our quick action shot, we'll keep it at 5 seconds, perfect for what we're going for. Good call. We don't need a full movie of this guy flexing. Yeah, 5 seconds is plenty. You can also go to settings here, to remove the watermark. This option is available through paid subscription. Once everything's set, hit generate, and let's see what we get. But before that, let's do a quick comparison between Runway and some other AI video generators, so you know which one's right for you. So, let's check out three clips, one from Kling, one from Luma, and the last from Runway Gen 3. Ready? Ooh, this is gonna be interesting. Yeah, let's see which one actually gets it right. First up, we've got Kling. You can see the movement in cycling looks okay, but when we zoom in, not great. The video quality just isn't there. They say an improved version is coming, but right now, I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, looks kinda fuzzy to me. Is that supposed to be HD? More like low day. Next up is Luma Labs. Luma Labs has made a splash in the last few months by introducing their Dream Machine AI video tool. 
let's see how it performed. So as you can see, the video clips inside of Luma Labs are really great for dynamic movements. They can hallucinate, so you see that some of those shots, like the shot of the Viking on the boat cut to a different Viking, that's because Luma literally created an entirely new scene. I didn't prompt that, so those hallucinations can pop up. Wait, you didn't prompt that? That's kinda cool, but also kinda weird. Exactly. Plus, Luma's resolution is pretty low, less than HD. So, if you want sharper quality, you'll need to upscale it. And finally, here's Runway Gen 3. Look at how smooth that camera movement is, the lifelike faces and overall quality. Runway just nails the cinematic feel. Wow, the details are way sharper. Yeah, definitely feels more like an actual film. Now, I should mention, Runway isn't exactly cheap. It's about $7 per minute of AI-generated video, compared to Luma's 41 cents per minute. Whoa, that's a big jump. Guess you're paying for those blockbuster vibes. Totally. But hey, it's like upgrading from a skateboard to a sports car, right? Exactly. If you're serious about cinematic quality, Runway is definitely the way to go. Plus, they even offer an unlimited plan for pro users. Unlimited? So, no more stressing about running out of credits mid-project? That's a game changer. Now, what if you wanted to take it up a notch, like 4K or even 8K quality? That's where Topaz Video AI comes in. You can hop over to Topaz and upscale your video to 4K. 4K? That's like seeing every freckle on someone's face. Yeah, nothing's hiding in 4K. You can see every single detail. Exactly. Let's look at the results. You can see it's incredibly sharp. It's one of the most realistic AI-generated videos I've ever seen. Whoa, look at that. You could count the wrinkles if you wanted to. I wouldn't want to, but yeah, that's insane. Yeah, face looks so realistic. Even the tiny details like hair strands. Totally. I'm sold. Let's get our videos looking this good. And there you have it. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more awesome AI tutorials. Thanks so much for watching. We can't wait to see what you create. Before we go, check out some incredible creations made with Runway Gen 3 in the link below. You'll be amazed at what's possible. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, be sure to write about it in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss new interesting videos. See you in the next video.